China is now dealing with another disease outbreak, this one mostly affecting animals but also potentially deadly among people. A highly pathogenic strain of the H5N1 bird flu has been reported in China's Hunan province. The outbreak was reported on a farm in the city of Xiaoyang in the Hunan province. As if health officials in China don't have enough on their hands with the spreading coronavirus, now officials announced an outbreak of bird flu. China's Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs announced Saturday an outbreak of a highly pathogenic strain of H5N1 bird flu at a farm in the southern province of Hunan. The virus was discovered on the farm with nearly 8,000 chickens. More than half of them have already died because of the outbreak. China is not alone in trying to tamp down the spread of this virus. Earlier this week, authorities in India started... So let's say that this guy has the flu, could be any flu, and here's a droplet from his sneeze containing, if we move in and take a really close look, you see each one of those little purple things is a virus. And there are a lot of viruses floating through the air, some of which go inevitably up this unfortunate man's nose. How did that guy feel when you ripped off half of his face? It was in this guy's throat cells. So notice it's covered with little yellow knobby things. You, you call these keys, right? Those are the keys. Yeah. This is a key, this is a key, this is a key. Okay, if the keys on this virus happen to fit the locks, which are those little uh, purpley stick-uppy things on the surface of the cell, if there is a match, the cell, watch this, welcomes the virus in. And what's this? This is the welcoming committee. They all interlock with each other and they pull this membrane down into the cell. And down it goes deeper and deeper and that welcoming structure disperses and the virus capsule bursts and out comes the secret recipe for how to make more viruses. Although bird flu poses more of a danger to poultry than humans, it is not easily transmissible among people. The World Health Organization has called on countries to be on guard because the virus can mutate into a transmissible form and has the potential to cause a pandemic.